I glow up like an influencer in one day using statistics? The data points to yes. I'm sorry. But if you haven't caught my videos over the last two weeks, I compiled Pinterest boards of 100 aesthetically pleasing faces, as well as fashion trends and outfits, and jotted down the statistics of the most probable traits of influencers, such as aesthetic procedures such as lip filler. 25% of influencers have keyhole lip filler, which is what I got, over eyebrow shape, density, hair color, hair cut, a very in-depth makeup analysis of what's currently trending right now, an incredibly in-depth fashion trend analysis, and today we're going to be putting it all together and going over perhaps the most important aspect of influencer trends, photo taking and editing. Now, I don't want today's video to be very long, so I'm just going to link the playlist of the videos that I've already done at the bottom, such as eyebrows and makeup. Instead of doing a drawn out step by step, I'm going to briefly go over what the statistical results are and show you what they look like on my face. So let's get started. Starting with makeup. Here are the brief statistics on makeup. The majority of influencers had in between dewy and matte skin as a base, had sun kissed, bronzer, and blush, point where it kind of looked like everybody was a little sunburnt, fluffy eyebrows that were straight, overlined lips in a natural way in a neutral shade, tiny brown eyeliner, clean upper eyelashes only, and fake freckles. Now I would classify this as strawberry girl makeup. It is by far the number one trend right now. Here is before makeup and after. Okay, now on to hair. According to my statistical analysis, the vast majority of influencers have brunette hair that is not highlighted, that is long, with curtain bangs, Matilda Durf style, and has a natural wave to it. So I'm gonna go put in my extensions and I'll be right back. Okay. Here we are. Now it's time for the outfit. According to the numbers derived from searching summer 2024 trends on Pinterest, the biggest trends were pretty heartwarming. The downfall of Shein and Forever 21 and mass-produced cheap objects in general seem to be going back to the time where young millennials and older Gen Z last saw a sustainable fashion cycle that lasted an actual decade, which is the early 2000s. We're seeing the trends come back in a very nostalgic way. Days that specifically remind me of Nickelodeon sweepstakes vacation wear, a big emphasis on tankinis, happy, beachy, girly, and nostalgic outfits, but made with more timeless patterns, fabrics, and silhouettes. We're seeing a lot of higher quality fabrics with more intricate detailing. We're seeing a bunch of Lizzie McGuire shoes. We're seeing this specific cut quite often, where it has the deep V and the definition under the bust. And arguably, I think this cut specifically is one that looks good on just about any body type. The other trend we're seeing is Miley Stewart Coastal Cowgirl, which is what my outfit will be based off of today. I'm starting off with this Cheyenne dress. It has the Y2K cut made in a higher quality fabric with some intricate lace detailing. The shoe trends, aside from Lizzie McGuire, are obviously cowgirl boots. For this look, I'm using the most classic ones that I own. My six years old, incredibly broken in areas. Now, as for accessories, by far the biggest trend that I'm seeing is charm necklaces and bracelets. I feel oddly reminiscent of these. I love the idea of charm bracelets because you're getting a high quality base, but you're also getting the chance to take very small, very cheap trends and get small, cheap, sustainable boosts of serotonin through them without breaking the bank. I have my Coastal Cowgirl charm necklace as well as my charm bracelet. I custom ordered from Cupid's Charm. And I think we're going to see a lot more shops like this pop up. I think buying small charms from small businesses like this is going to be a really easy, fun way to support small businesses in general. I think Gen Z is really good at. I personally picked out these charms. I have a K for my daughter and a T for my husband. So let's put our outfit on and then move on to nails. Okay. So I do love this outfit. I especially love the accessories. What is trending in the world of nails? Well, you guessed it, a 2000s resurgence. It's nails with fun, minimal patterns, or kind of a frosted color, specifically in the shades of orange or pink. I'm not a go-to-the-salon kind of gal, so I get mine from HK Graham Nails. I buy them myself. They are $30 for a custom set, and let me show you what they look like on. So this is what I went with. Something about them that reminds me of Roxy in the early 2000s. If you're a millennial, you know how big of a deal Roxy was. Anyways. There they are. I do love them. Before I go on to pictures, I would just like to say that the hair and makeup aspect of this and the statistics in general, while 47% of the women on my Pinterest board are women of color, they are women of color that have a skin tone similar to mine. And what Pinterest shows me for specific makeup looks when I have looked them up in the past. The statistical analysis is based off of what the Pinterest algorithm has shown me, and that will be a product of what I have looked up on Pinterest for myself. 
Just like to throw that out there. If there are women of color out there, I want to make Pinterest boards and then have me do a statistical analysis of those influencers' traits. Friends, that is definitely something that I'm interested in. So let me know. Now on to pictures. There were only two real statistically probable trends when it came to photo editing, but they were very obvious. One was that the vast majority of influencers had warm tones in their editing. That reflected what I think of as golden hour. And the other was this kind of editing. It looks very eight millimeter, vintagey, kind of glowy editing. I did find the perfect preset for that. I'll show you after we stage the pictures. When it came to beauty shots, almost all of them had the lips at the center focus. Actually an 88%, which is kind of crazy. It's definitely a big jump from what we saw in the 2010s, where the eyes were the primary focus in almost every single picture. It seems that lips and fluffy eyebrows have taken over as star of the show. For beauty shots, I'm just going to do a white sheet set up on one of my walls, facing a window. I tried to copy some of these poses, and then I really wanted to do some good outdoor shots that are kind of giving Miley Stewart summer, but it's currently raining outside. So we'll see what I come up with. I'm going to go take them on a Sony A6000, which I got for $300 on my local classifieds in 2018. And then I will show you the preset that I'm going to use. So catch you then. Okay, I couldn't go outside because it was raining, but I dare say these pictures are the biggest slay I've ever slayed. So let me take you through one of the pictures and show you how I edit it. So here is the original picture downloaded from my camera app. Then to give it a golden hour feel, I go into Lightroom and I darken it and I up the warmth a lot. Here are my settings. I'm showing you at the bottom. You can screenshot it if you want to. Now this is the influencer editing trick. I go into Tezza, I upload my picture, and then you're going to click on the picture and go to these film settings and you're going to go to the ultra glow. This is the setting that I am convinced that every influencer is using right now. And obviously it looks more film when taken on a picture stage more like this. You know, if you're going for like the general vintage -y vibe, I am convinced that it is the Tezza ultra glow filter. Cause it also shows the little date in the corner. So here's one of the pictures. See like this one is what I'm talking about with that filter. It just makes it look a little vintage-y, like eight millimeter film. I do like the filter in general. I really like this one for Coastal Cowgirl. I like this one cause it shows off the bracelet and I really like the bracelet. This one's good. I do think this is kind of the shot, either that one or that one. And I will probably change my profile picture because of this. But let me know which one you think it should be in the comments. It's going to loop back to the front. So I want you to tell me, did statistics help me glow up like an influencer? 